stuff that you're going to need in order to do this. And what we're going for is wyvern eggs. Now I've not been here too long and I, I went and I just got this 190. I did have some others, but not so good. I gave them away. So what we're going to need to do is you're going to have to come over here. Best thing to do is tame up a couple of Patranodons and you know look, look and see which one has the best stamina. Don't really need weight, just the stamina. Okay, now which one ever you decide that you want to be able to part with is the one that you want to use. And this one here, yeah, it's not too bad. But it has more weight than stamina. On these birds, I go for stamina. So let's go use this one here. So first things first, you need to get you a Patranodon. This should be one of the very first teams that you, that you actually get. As far as flying goes, it'll probably be the very first one that you do get. Alright, now the top of gear that you're going to need. I recommend using ghillie. Now you can use the desert cloth. But on the way over to it, you're actually going to be taking a lot of cold. The desert gear is going to make it to where you get even colder. So we're going to take our ghillie with us. Now before you go, you want to make sure that you have enough meat for your Patranodon because you're going to be using a lot of stamina a lot of going and a lot of stopping landing and going landing and going that's going to be one of the main things that you're going to have to get used to make sure you grab yourself some food make sure you grab yourself something to drink now the location that we're going is all the way up to the tip top up there where it says scar that's at roughly the 10 latitude and 76 or 77 longitude and that is the location that we're going to be going now I recommend marking that on the map because that is the scar and that's where the dragons are located I'll be back with you guys shortly at the scar Alright guys, we're here at the SCAR, and so what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to kind of get a lay of the land before we actually go down. And what I mean by that is, see how that dragon's just flying out there? So that, you know, that more than likely means that somebody else has already been in here, been pulling them away. It looks like it's only uh, ice dragons around here. There's a fire dragon up there, but yeah, he, he's pretty far away, we ain't got to worry about them. Alright, so what we're going to do is, now, th this is going to be for, you know, ice wyverns right now. We will do fire in just a minute. But first off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with ice. So ice is pretty simple, pretty easy. You just want to come down here and, you know, make sure there ain't no dragons around. You don't want any dragons anywhere around. You see a nest, there's more than likely going to be an egg. So you zoom in take a look it's low 55 you, know, you don't want it you don't want to grab it you're just starting you know you just got your patranodon just trying to get an egg well, here's a 150 now once you grab this egg every dragon around here is going to be aggroed to you now that's just a given it's just going to happen it happens on any whenever you grab an egg of any sort uh, the same race will come after you now to lose the dragon the best thing to do is to hit the trees uh, try to go towards you know other dinos that are on the ground like that these wolves right here you see we kind of just keep going you know don't worry about the dragon just focus on getting away now he he'll eventually he'll get off of you eventually He'll, he'll go after other dinos and stuff and if you're on PC now you can take and you can press the K key and take a look behind you just to see if he's still following you know so still trying to lose him here ok 
got some lag going on this service server is a little bit laggy it's a PVE server and there's usually about 50 people in the server at all times so it it happens you know be prepared for it and I have seen people die easily because of lag okay uh, I don't think he's on me anymore but there is a lot of other dragons around here I've seen some down there we don't want him to scream at us because he might make us run towards the dragon and that would be pretty bad we're gonna cut around head back towards the scar so we just now got here and we have already gotten one 150 egg and my recommendations on when grabbing eggs do not grab anything below a 150 now if you do grab something below a 150 don't throw it out make sure to eat the egg if you just throw the egg out it'll take a very long time to respawn it'll take I'm not sure how long it takes hours whenever you throw one down it takes hours for them to respond uh, if you eat it it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes for a new egg to spawn on the nest so keep that in mind it, you know it's not just yeah let's do it and I'm pretty sure that dragon is <laughs> both on me got too busy trying to explain it looks like we're gonna be able to, su to survive this so we're gonna survive we got this they really want that egg don't they usually by now they've already uh, gotten off and went and chased something else I don't know why they're still chasing me down it has to be because of the egg <laughs> this, this is good though I mean this is good for you guys to see how it actually is you know it, it's not gonna be something that you're just gonna be able to run right in with the with the patranodon and grab these eggs up you know and then bam have a dragon you know you have to actually create that incubation room you have to incubate the egg then you have to raise the baby and you know that that will be another video we will be raising dragons in another video I want to get several eggs I do not like raising just one at a time it's it's worthless to raise just one single one at a time and the reason why I say that is because when you go and get milk you know it can be a little bit of a pain whenever you're doing it solo you just gotta find your female dragon and get it into a trap now the best way to do that is to find someone's trap who is, already has one placed down and that's gonna be your best bet uh, whenever you're trying to get milk now other players that are getting milk at the same time well so most of the time they will help you out you know they'll give you a little bit of milk because they'll have so much extra and it spoils so fast there's no reason for them to keep it so raising your your dragon whenever you actually do hatch it and get it out of the egg and you know uh, growing from a baby to juvenile now I recommend doing all that on 2x which is the weekends the arc evolution event and it usually happens every weekend so all you have to do is just save your egg until the weekend and it'll be much easier a uh, hundred times easier than what it is on regular all right we look like we look like we're in the clear uh, we already got us a fire I mean a, an ice egg so we're gonna head back towards the scar see if we can not go down into the fire area and see what happens down there now everything that I have on me and and the dinosaur is all expendable so if I were to lose it it wouldn't hurt anything you know it's something that this patranodon was one of the very first ones that I got whenever I came to the server so it looks like I already got another dragon on me down here. Maybe he's stuck. Hopefully he's stuck. 
Okay, so the best way to do this here is well first off you're gonna want to get as much stamina as you can just in case you do have to run because sometimes you'll poke your head in the cave and there will literally be a fire dragon just right there looking right at you okay now these these two corners here if you're running from a dragon do not go down them because all it does is it'll bring you out right down here on one side and the other one I think brings you out up top but I wouldn't do that because the dragons they can go right through that tunnel like it's nothing and they will be right on you the entire time so it's really not worth it now you don't want to get too close to the bottom those mantises can jump up and they they will hit you if they can and you know your Patranodon's not got very much health so you really want to ev evade as much of everything that you can especially these fire dragons because if they hit you with fire <coughs> it's gonna just it's just gonna wreck you it's just gonna drain your life out <coughs> looks like they just all committed suicide trying to get me okay so you can go this way here you can go that way or you can go around here both lead to the same exact spot uh, this one here is just a little bit more longer a little way there, there goes a dragon right there see that's what I was saying sometimes you'll poke your head in and there's a dragon we barely made it out of there from that dragon. So there, there must have been a couple of them. Uh, it's pretty rough whenever someone else is here because they'll aggro the dragons and you know they'll pull them out towards the uh, the entrance. So it's very iffy doing it. You know you have to you have to pay attention to your surroundings as much as possible. And like I said, you know take it really slow whenever you're whenever you're going through there. Take it real slow. Um, no, it was a wild. At first, it acted as if somebody was riding on it. Yeah, he may come after me. I don't know. Yeah, he's he's gonna come after me. He's not locked on to anything else yet. Let's come down here and see if we can't get him on these mammoths or something. Oh, it looks like he found him a rock golem up top. Or rock elemental. I'm not sure which one they're called. I think they're... Oh, it's there. We'll see. Elemental, yeah. Alright. Let's get back over there and see if we can't get down there. Uh, this is going to take a while. I, I can't say it enough times how how much this is you know this is gonna help out if you get a dragon you know it, it'll help anybody out to have a dragon to begin with but raising your own you know you get the imprint you get the extra the boosted stats you get all of that whenever you're doing your own and I highly recommend just coming in and grabbing your own egg and it's best to start out with an ice wyvern I just want to get this for the fire wy wyvern because they are better they they tear through uh, gigas and rexes pretty much anything that's wild they pretty much tear right through them so those are your target Th those are the ones that you really want and we gotta remember we got an egg over here too 150 ice I'm gonna try not to lose this egg, cause it is pretty decent. And I have a friend that that plays, you know, and and he could really use a dragon himself. Uh, he's not in the same tribe. Like I said, I am solo, and that's that's why I'm doing this is to show other people that doing this solo is fully. You could fully do it solo. I'm gonna see if we can't pull this dragon up out of there. Maybe, maybe he'll just leave me alone but I, I highly doubt it I'd rather him just follow me out because following down in there you might run out of stamina and then you know there is another way to come out yeah look at there, there's more than, there's more than one there I'm gonna see if we can't just get him to follow us 
Okay, well, he's definitely following us. Okay. Yeah, about half your health, about how much it's going to take. So I'm saying that that fire is pretty deadly. And it could have been much worse. Uh, I imagine this dragon's probably like a 140 or something. I can't believe I got hung up on that pole there. Okay, hopefully he'll get on those. Maybe he ain't following us anymore. That's alright. We wanted to pull him out of there anyway. We want to get that, that pathway clear of dragons so we can get down in there. That, that That's the main objective right now. Now this video is going to be a little bit longer than expected, but it's actually to be expected because this this is one of the things in the game that really never really goes your way. The dragons are pretty unpredictable, and the range of their aggro is is pretty pretty high. Again, make sure you bring food and water whenever you come out here. Make sure you bring plenty of food for your your Patranodon because it will be eating a lot. Now I did stop at a couple of I did stop and grab a couple of these on the way over here. Alright, we look like we're in a safe enough spot we can land right now. Just keep your ears on. Keep listening for those wings flapping and stuff. So you know when to take off. And hopefully we won't get hit again by fire. Now I was not expecting that when it actually hit me. It, it actually came straight through the, the floor there. Now there was two dragons. I did see another one down there. Whenever it was landed. But at least we got him up out of here. Now that he's gone, maybe we can rub this wall over here. Oh, no. Looks like he's coming too. That's alright. Let's get him out of there. Once he's out, we're, looks like we might be free to come in. Now, these people's traps, they're, they're made so that the Patranodon can actually aggro the dragon and get him in there. So you should be able to fly through those. Took some more damage there. Man, he's still coming after us. So we can't get him on these mammoths over here. If you break away far enough, he'll he'll just pay attention to the animals around him and, and not you. Alright, looks like we're in the clear. And that was the last dragon that I seen at the door. Now there may be more. So don't just run in there thinking, oh yeah, that that was it. Eat up some meat. Should have probably brought some more. The health goes up very slowly. I will keep him with three there. Alright, we're going to attempt this. We, we should be able to survive another hit now. That that was the main objective there. Is to heal up enough to survive at least another hit. I'm 
come way up here on my land. I'm gonna throw some cooked meat on him. I keep calling him a him, but it's actually a her. It's like we got a dragon pretty close over there. Alright, now we should have plenty of health to survive another hit. Before we actually go in, we're going to land and grab some more stamina. We want as much stamina as we can, so if we have to run. It don't look like there's nothing below me here. Take it slow. Don't see any more. Looks like we might be free to go down here. Now be careful right here. You land on that ledge, those praying mantises, they'll leap on you. And you don't want that. Because they do quite a bit of damage. Stay on the wall over here. You see that little crease there? It looks like we got another dragon coming after us already. Alright, we got away plenty fast enough on that one. The fire wyverns are much more harder to get on this map because of the, uh, you know, you have a roof on you, you only have one way in, one way out. Or, there's actually two, but they're so far apart that, you know, if you don't go all the way through the tunnel, then you're going to be using just that one doorway. And it, it's good to use just that one doorway too because you know where it's at. And you want to remember where that's at because if not, you get lost down there, and then that that's just trouble. Now it, it does look pretty big, but it's not as big as it actually looks. It's mainly just one room, and you you don't want to go too high up because up high there's not any uh, there's not any nest up high. Most of the nests are on the the corners, you know. Nothing up too high. Now this time I think we're going to go in the, the other direction. Because I think that dragon that was just now coming after me. I actually think that it probably got hung on the wall on the way out. So he's probably just sitting right at the doorway. So if there ain't no dragons down here to bother us, we'll just come this way. Make sure we ain't got no ice dragons or nothing following us. Alright, take the corner slow so you can see if there's anything in there around this corner. Now you have to pay close attention to the walls because sometimes they'll get so close to the wall that you can only see like maybe their tail or a wing flapping and the rest of their body will be in the inside of the rock. And that's because they're chasing after people but the people get out so fast sometimes that the dragon is just still aggroed to them trying to chase them and it can't get to them because of the wall. Yeah, it looks like we actually got in this this way.
Okay, now th this is actually pretty. This is actually good because this pass here has a pretty good size wall. Go ahead and land up here. Grab as much stamina as we can. I see a dragon over there. He, he's a little bit far away. We should be able to sneak past. All right, now you guys remember where your interest your entrances are, so you know where to come in and, and leave that. Look for the big lava waterfall. That's going to be your best way to find it. He landed over there. We're gonna don't. It looks like there's a, a fire nest right there. Yeah, he's pretty close. We're gonna take it slow. We're just gonna wait. And we're gonna see if he'll move out the way. Maybe he'll fly down that way some. Hopefully not towards us. Go away, dragon. There's another one right up there, too. And he's actually facing towards us, so we wanna... We don't want him to get us. Okay, we're, we're gonna try to go around this guy. Every time I start trying to, he, he starts like he's going to fly out in the middle. Let's see if we can go down here. Maybe there ain't nothing down here. Alright, looks like he flew away good enough. Now, go go in as far as you can. Drive slow. Set to 95 egg. Nothing we really want. You know, we, we're, we're targeting 150 plus. And if you grab that egg, every single dragon in this whole place is just going to come right for you. So... You don't want to grab any eggs that are below the level that you recommend or you want. Now, if you want that 95, you could have grabbed it and got out and probably nothing would have happened. You probably would just got right out with it. Oh, I touched the lava. Great. I didn't even touch the lava. Alright. So... I don't recommend landing anywhere near the lava, of course. Let's see if we can't give him a little bit more health here. Alright, now what you're looking for is little holes in the wall, like that there. That's exactly what you're looking for, and that's where the nests are going to be. Now remember these dragons they they get hung on these corners and and you can hardly see them so keep an eye all right let's see what we got here level fifty now if you see a nest like that that's empty, you don't want to hang around too much because they will spawn in. And if they spawn in and they're right on top of you, you know, that that's really bad news. And it, whenever they first spawn in, they usually spawn behind you. For some reason, that's how they always end up spawning in on me. Now, this Patron down here, it's done been down here several times. So, I know that it, it, can, it can last. And it's still the very first Patron on I ever had. So... You know, you, you just find you a good, like, 160 or, or one, 140 or so Patranodon, and you should be plenty good. It should have enough stamina on it and stuff to be good. It looks like we ain't finding nothing but some pretty bad eggs. We ain't finding anything good so far. But this is just one run. This is on 
this is one of your ways out right here so keep that in mind you get you got to remember your way out whatever you do do not forget if you get lost in here and run out of stamina then you might as well just say goodbye cuz you're gonna die <laughs> All right, let's see. Hopefully, we got past that dragon up there without aggro. Okay. Now you come in here. You want to come down. Now that that's an artifact right there. You can grab it if you want. Uh, it's no need to do thing, especially you know just coming into the game. Still low level by yourself. You you really don't want to bother with it. I think this is the egg we just checked, but. Okay, there ain't nothing there, so that wasn't the egg we checked. Alright. Now, I know I've seen a dragon, I just don't remember where he went. Looks like a nest here. Maybe it'll be something good, hopefully. No, nope, it's level 20. Still don't see nothing. I'm going to go ahead and land and grab as much stamina as I can. Just whatever you do, do not ever let your stamina go below halfway. Unless you got a really good bird, then you're, you're, you should be good. <laughs> But for now, let's just not let it go below halfway. Just to be on the safe side. You gotta remember, I got a 150 egg already. And I'd like to keep it. One fifty may not be the best, but whenever you're just starting out and you need a dragon really bad, hey, that one fifty will be plenty good enough. It could take out just about anything out there. No other level 20. I see a tail to a dragon down there. He's pretty far down. Looks like he might be stuck in the wall. Well guys, I think that that is pretty much every little spot here. We didn't find nothing but a, a level 95 egg that was out. Okay, so we're, we're going to come right up here to this spot. This will be this little point right here. Okay, I know you can land on here and it's pretty safe to land on. Well, of course, as long as there's no dragons around it, it's pretty safe. We just got a couple more slots we can check and then we we'll just have to go from there. Now that right there is also a way out and that is the other direction. The one that we were trying to come into at first. Now you, you can go out up there but I'm going to go ahead and go out this way because I know what's this way. I don't, I'm not sure what's up that way. Well there's a dragon up that way so we definitely want to come out this way. And just for good measure, just just to make sure I didn't accidentally skip over this egg, I'm gonna go ahead and check it. By zooming in like that, you can check the egg. You do it like this, nothing. So make sure to, to zoom in on it. That's why whenever I say when you're flying in, fly pretty slow so that way you can just and you can see the egg. Okay, hopefully there ain't no dragons spawned in up here, so they're all in the same areas. I'm still going to take it slow. I may even, I'm going to go ahead and, if I come across that level 95 egg, I might grab it. There's a dragon up there in the corner, so I don't know. pretty sure that level 95 egg was all the way up here at the start when we first came in 
Yeah, there's a couple dragons up there. We're gonna try to rub this wall a little bit. Hopefully, there's nothing over here. Yeah, I think this is that 190 or that 95 nest. Yeah, okay. Now make sure you get all your stamina and everything good and ready. Get right there where you can just grab and go. I'm going to push K to look back. I think we got away quick enough that we're a pretty good lead ahead of them that they're not really going to be able to, to catch no matter what. Now we'll probably get up out of here and then they'll probably try aggroing or back around to catch us. And it'll keep them in the inside of the cave. So that way that they're not chasing after you. Unless you run into some on the outside. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure we're at a good safe distance here. Got a fire dragon still coming. And they will chase you for a long time, so you got to make sure you're going to lose them. These mammoths, th those are, you can basically treat them like your best friend because they're going to be the what the dragons mainly try to go for whenever they come out. I guess because maybe they're so big they just catch their attention better. <laughs> Alright, well it looks like we broke free. Uh, got to keep the bird, so looks like Boots going to get to go on another run again later. Give give the eggs you know time to respawn maybe there'll be a better level in there later this time it wasn't too great okay now while we're here and we got an egg that we really don't want to keep I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some okay so earlier I shot a video and this guy was throwing uh, eggs out now whenever you throw an egg out this is what it looks like okay spoils in seven days 20 hours blah 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 okay anyways this egg will sit here for a very long time before it despawns so if you throw an egg out like that you know it's gonna sit there for hours and hours and hours before it finally despawns so you don't want to do that by any means you do not want to do that instead all you do is just come over to the egg and consume it eating the egg is the best way to go now within 10 to 15 minutes that egg will respawn with the whole new level and everything now doing that is good for you and everybody else so don't just think you know oh, I'm gonna be mean and just throw the eggs down so no one else can get them if you're hunting eggs and you're really wanting to get an egg don't do that because it's gonna hurt you in the long run because they're not gonna spawn in and it's gonna cause you have to have to wait even longer before an egg spawns in and it's just it's not the way to go just make sure you eat the eggs that you don't want keep the ones you want eat the ones you don't want Looks like we got dragons all the way over here in the green area. Somebody obviously didn't know how to pull correctly. Alright guys, so that I just wanted to show you guys that it, it's totally possible to do to do that without a dragon now I know that in some of the places like Ragnarok and stuff like that people recommend having a dragon there which I understand because you know you you have all these different
different types of dragons over there. But here on the Valgaro map, doing it with the Pachanodon, it may take a little bit of time, but it, it's completely doable. And I mean, I actually prefer the Pachanodon down in the, the cave with the fire dragons because you know trying to turn in those locations is pretty bad and then if you rub up against a certain wall and you get fire from the lava on you or something you know that that's not good at all so Patranodon the ghillie suit is some form of incubation now you can take and make a friend or join an alliance and maybe they have an incubation room that you can use. And again, I would not do this unless it is on two times, which is the weekends. It's called the Arc Ev Evolution. It's probably going to be much better to just wait until the weekend. that's when everybody else is getting milk and everything like that so whenever you're growing your your baby to juvenile to ad adolescence you know you need that milk and being a solo player like myself it's much easier to just say oh you know if, if you give me some milk I'll give you uh, 200 you know a stack of, of ingots for a bottle of milk you know a lot of people will do that because they they'll have so much milk left over after they milk the uh, the dragon that it'll spoil before you know they get to use it. So there's no use in them even having as much as as they get from it. So of course you know yeah they're gonna take the free 200 bars and the milk that was gonna spoil. You know what's it matter you know? You got it. So you can raise your dragon just like that. And some people take other things too, not just metal, like they take polymer and and stuff. So yeah guys, I mean just keep that in mind, you know, it's totally doable to get yourself a dragon at a low level. You do not have to be a high level to get it by any means. Alright, I'm gonna get away from this guy before he jumps up and grabs me. land over here in these people's base how about that alright guys I'll catch you later and hopefully you like and subscribe and also you can catch me on twitch too just look up scatterbrains we'll be playing some art and all kinds of other games so make sure to check that out Sat there that whole time, and no one will be able to get their name. 